Matt Robertson uh, said something that made sense. No, wait a minute, that is news. <laughs> that is news. Okay. okay, all of a sudden we got a news program. I think going Pat here. Robertson is realizing that, you know, he's older now and maybe it's time to speak the truth. Okay? Maybe yeah, there's something going on with Pat. You know, he's there is. He's making news every week and he says crazy things. Sometimes we disagree with him, but sometimes we agree with him, right? Yeah, no, no. Lately, like, he's been, like, when he was talking about pot and he's like, yeah, I don't know why it's illegal. Come on, let's just, you know, smoke up. <laughs> no, he didn't say that, but he was close. I mean, he thinks it should be legal. And then when he was, even when he was just talking about porn with his co-anchor. He was the, into it. Like he was like, oh, so you watch porn? Yeah. It was like, I think he's gotten a no holds barred. Yeah. I think that's what, you know, I, I've been talking about this on the show forever. That when I get older, there's going to be a point where I'm like, look, dude, I don't believe in an afterlife. This is all I got. It's no holds barred time. Right? I think Pat's there. It makes me want to watch the 700 Club. <laughs> I right? know. You never know what's coming. So what did he say this time? So um, he, in fact, let's go to the video. He received a letter from uh, one of his female viewers. And apparently she was very concerned because her husband and her son uh, didn't believe that the world was only, or Earth was only 6,000 years old. Mm. Right? And she's like, I'm really concerned that they're not going to be with me in heaven when we all pass away. And here's what Pat Robertson had to say to her. People are probably trying to lynch me when I say this, but Bishop Usher, God bless him, wasn't inspired by the Lord when he said it all took 6,000 years. <clears throat> it just didn't. And you go back in time, you've got radiocarbon dating, you've got all these things, and you've got the, 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 the carcasses of dinosaurs frozen in time out in the Dakotas, you know, they, they got Sue, that big, uh, um, what was it, you know, the, the, the fierce one, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it Tyrannosaurus? Yeah, t Tyrannosaurus Rex, and, and uh, I don't know if that, this one had a, a female name like Susie or something, but anyhow, <laughs> they're out there. And so there was a time that these giant reptiles were on the earth, and it was before the time of the Bible. I, I, I love him. No, I know. He's like, now again, the grandpa thing. Who is that? that one, the one that sounds like Susie. Yeah. And, and the, the one that's really fierce. <laughs> yeah. What is he, yeah, Tyra Banks? It's around, it's around the Rex, Rex, Rex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that Rex thing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, look, it, it's amazing, because when you look into this, the guy who came up with that crazy 6,000-year theory, I mean, of course, it's not in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that Earth was only around for 6,000 years. Remember, all, a lot of these interpretations, including uh, the pro-life interpretation, are just some priest from a million years ago reading into it like, ah, uh, I think it kind of means this, right? So the guy who originally did that interpretation did it back in 1650. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. I don't know if you know this, but they didn't know what the hell they were talking about back then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's Pat Robertson saying, hey, you know what? Maybe we don't have to listen to that guy anymore. Maybe it's possible that we can have God, but that some insane interpretation from 350 years ago is not necessarily true or 450 years ago. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, he hit the nail on the head when he said, as soon as you reject scientific evidence, well, then you come off as a looney tune. Of course, I'm paraphrasing him. And then people don't want to buy into your religion. They don't want to believe it. Now, of course, people who don't believe in religion aren't going to believe it anyway. But at least you sound like a reasonable human being when you accept scientific evidence. And, you know, if you, you still have faith, then you have your reasons for your faith. And you don't have to justify it, you know? I've redone the math. It is 350 years, 360 years. Just wanted to be clear. Okay, on that. thanks, okay. Scott. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, man. So, ironically, do you believe in miracles? Pat Robertson challenging religious orthodoxy.